On October 10, 2024, the U.S. Department of Defense confirmed that Croatia's modernization efforts have made significant progress as 22 Bradley M2A2 Infantry Fighting Vehicles IFVs, delivered in December 2023, are undergoing refurbishment at Juro Jakovic Special Vehicles DDSV. So far, three vehicles have completed the process, marking a key step forward in Croatia's military modernization program. The initial batch of 22 Bradley M2A2 Operation Desert Storm ODS vehicles arrived in Croatia through the port city of Rijeka in December 2023. This delivery is part of a broader $196 million procurement deal from January 2022, which involves acquiring 76 IFVs. The refurbishment and modernization of these vehicles aim to bring them up to NATO standards, ensuring Croatia's military forces remain competitive and interoperable within the alliance. The modernization project, overseen by the U.S. government as part of a foreign military sale, FMS, focuses on enhancing the Bradleys to meet the demands of contemporary battlefields. This includes an investment of $757 million to overhaul engines, transmissions and communication systems, while adding advanced weaponry, like TOW anti-tank missiles. These upgrades significantly improve the vehicle's situational awareness and firepower, aligning Croatia's military with NATO's operational standards. The Bradley M2A2 IFVs being refurbished for Croatia will feature major enhancements. Weaponry asterisk the vehicles will be equipped with M240 machine guns, TOW 2A and TOW 2B anti-tank missiles, and bunker buster missiles to boost firepower. Defense systems asterisk enhanced armor and smoke grenade launchers will provide better protection for the crew, making the Bradleys more effective in high-risk combat environments. Communication and electronics asterisk upgraded communication systems and situational awareness tools ensure the Bradleys can operate effectively within NATO frameworks, enabling smoother coordination during joint missions. Training and maintenance support, as well as spare parts, are also part of the deal to ensure Croatia can maintain the upgraded fleet over time. The program involves close collaboration between the U.S. Army Security Assistance Command, USASAC, BA Systems, and Raytheon, with U.S. personnel providing training and technical support. The modernization effort is centered at DDSV, where extensive refurbishment work is being conducted. This includes engine and transmission overhauls, electrical system revisions, and armor enhancements to meet modern battlefield requirements. BE Systems, in cooperation with local suppliers, is helping to ensure the upgraded vehicles are fully operational. The U.S. Embassy in Zagreb, through the Office of Defense Cooperation, ODC, coordinates with USASAC to keep the project on track, monitoring key milestones and funding needs. Croatia will also receive support from the Minnesota National Guard to integrate these IFVs into its forces, reinforcing NATO partnerships through the State Partnership Program. The Bradley M2A2 ODS model represents a significant leap from the original M2A1 IFV, which first entered service with the U.S. Army in the late 1980s. Designed to enhance survivability and combat efficiency, the M2A2 ODS incorporates additional armor protection, improved drivetrains, and advanced targeting and situational awareness systems. Key improvements post-Gulf War include Increased protection asterisk additional armor for the hull and turret, as well as internal spall liners, improved crew survivability. Enhanced firepower asterisk the 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun and tow missile launchers provide superior firepower compared to Croatia's older M80 IFVs. Upgraded technology asterisk a GPS, laser rangefinder, and thermal viewer give the Bradley M2A2 the capability to perform in modern high-threat environments. The acquisition and modernization of the Bradley M2A2 IFVs reflect Croatia's ongoing commitment to modernize its military and align with NATO operational standards. Croatia's defense strategy focuses on replacing outdated Soviet air equipment, as seen with the Bradley program and other recent acquisitions, such as Himars rocket systems and Rafale F-3, are fighters. In addition to upgrading its military equipment, Croatia plays an active role in supporting regional security efforts. By assisting Ukraine in response to Russian aggression and contributing to NATO missions like enhanced forward presence, Croatia continues to establish itself as a vital partner in regional defense. Since joining NATO in 2009, Croatia has transformed its military into a smaller, more professional force capable of addressing national security needs and participating in international peacekeeping missions. The current modernization drive aims to strengthen Croatia's sovereignty and ensure interoperability with NATO forces. Beyond the Bradley program, Croatia is enhancing its defense cooperation with allies, including the United Kingdom, India, 
and the United States. A recent defense agreement with the U.S. extends until 2028 and covers cybersecurity, disinformation countermeasures, and personnel training, reinforcing Croatia's ability to address emerging threats. The refurbishment and modernization of the Bradley M2A2 ODS vehicles mark a significant step in Croatia's ongoing efforts to modernize its military and meet NATO operational standards. These upgraded IFVs will bolster Croatia's mechanized infantry capabilities, offering enhanced firepower, protection, and connectivity for future joint operations with NATO allies. As Croatia continues to upgrade its defense infrastructure, its role as a regional security leader and NATO partner will only grow stronger.